written by Melinda Long and illustrated by David Shannon. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day I was at the beach building a sand castle and minding my own business when a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones on it and because I could hear the pirates singing hey ho blow the man down. They were a little off key. I tried to tell Dad, but he was busy setting up a beach umbrella. I tried to tell Mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sand castle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Oh, hurry there, matey, be this the Spanish main? No, I said, this is no speech. Sibyl me timbles, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong tone at Bora Bora. When I walked around, he walked around my sand castle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew. He's a diggle, he's a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, Maisie, the head pirate asked. Show me Jacob, so I told him. Well, show me Jacob, he says, you were looking at Bray's beard and his crew. We've been needing a diggle like yourself. We've a chance of treasure to bury. I treasure, the other shouted. You're coming with us, Bray's beard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. As soon as we were on board, Great Beard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Got to find a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we're off, he announced. Well, off we all shouted, and then we set sail. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing, sing, she chanties, the louder the better, and say no pirate stuff like land, my bones, scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. to chew up our carrots. They weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full and nobody said please or thank you. Nice job showing the illustrations, Olivia. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Big Beard kicked the ball and said, Arg, soccer! Arg, soccer! The crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties, Big Beard from London after it, we all whispered, we fought a little hula to get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway, because the shark came along and swallowed it in one go. So much for soccer. By now, it was past my bedtime, but nobody told the pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. <laughs> Pirates sleep with one eye open just in case, and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swabbing the desk. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay up any longer, I asked Brave Beard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried, and the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books? I asked Brave Beard, look confused. Books? I didn't even bother.
father to ask about a good night kiss. <laughs> it wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a stone broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Low the seals, great beard shouted, batting down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and moaning and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me that it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, trash, flash, crash, crack. Lightning hit the mast and slid it right down the middle. What do we do now, yelled one of the pirates. We have, we'll we have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollowed Greg Beard. Will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. When the storm was over, we rode back to shore and boarded the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. <laughs> After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Ray Beard handed me a flag and said, You make a fine pirate, Johnny Jacob. Guard that chest of well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, Ray Beard added, Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pool. Up yonder pool, the others shouted. And maybe I will, but not today. I have soccer balls. Oh, nice job, Alicia. Let's give her a big firecracker. One, two, three. And a big roller coaster. <laughs> what did the head pirate say when he climbed out of the boat? First one is a hoy. Ahoy. Ahoy, Nice try. Okay. Ahoy, land lover. Good try. Good try. Jay, that was close.